everyone. We are Heather and Aaron of Pinkwall Designs. And in this video, we're talking to you guys all about design ideas for a micro space. So in a smaller space, you wanna really think about using multi-purpose furniture. So choose a couch that acts also as a bed or a table space for dining that also acts as a desk area. So you really wanna maximize your vertical space. So think building up rather than building out. When you're in a micro space, you wanna install shelves on as many walls as you can with it still looking nice, of course. Think about in a bathroom, adding some nice stacked baskets, maybe to put towels. It will still act as decor, but it also doubles as a functionality thing as well. Really just building up. Uh, so any sort of like shelving, whether that be for books and uh, even in the kitchen as well. If you don't have a lot of cabinetry or uh, under cabinet storage, Think about maybe doing something nice on the wall that like allows for your pots and pans to sort of be displayed. Again, decor uh, as well as a functional purpose. So you can really make a splash with that type of thing and that type of artwork, I guess you could call it, that doubles as a functional thing. So for example, if you're gonna do the pots and pans thing, if you, maybe you wanna think about doing a fun color where it's like all of your pots and pans are orange. So now it looks cool on the wall, then it's also saving you counter space and you can use that cabinetry for other things. So really just think about getting creative, as creative as possible to utilizing your walls and there's a lot that you can do there. So if you have the budget, maybe think about using custom built storage. In a closet space, then you can really utilize every nook and cranny to be able to do hangers, drawers, uh, shelving unit, and then taking that really small area, you can really maximize the usage and get the best use of it. So lighting should always be carefully curated for your space, but especially in a micro space, you wanna be really strategic about the type of lighting that you use. So recessed lighting or pot lights actually are a great solution, especially if you have lower ceilings, because they're providing usually a ton of light, but they're not taking up any of your headroom. If you do happen to have higher ceilings and then just smaller square footage, you can think about maybe doing a hanging pendant or a semi-flush pendant but make sure that it's very bright, airy, and open. So maybe avoid lighting that has shades on it. Maybe you just do open, exposed bulbs. And also pay attention to the temperature of the light bulbs. So anytime you're shopping for light bulbs, it will actually tell you that the, the light measurement is called a Kelvin. And it will tell you at the side, if you're looking in the description, what the temperature of the bulb is. So you wanna go light, bright, and natural, and not yellow and darker, because that's gonna make your space feel a lot smaller than it actually is. So another good one is utilizing mirrors. It'll create the illusion of a bigger space. So for example, we had this client, she had a micro office space, and we utilized one entire wall uh, of multiple mirrors. So not only did it act as a fun feature wall, but it really elevated the space, made it look larger, cleaner, very modern, and it was a cool feature to add. So another thing to keep in mind is if you're decorating your space yourself, a good rule of thumb, and, and I guess to err on the side of caution, is to keep it minimalistic. As an interior designer, I don't know if I fully, fully agree with this because if you're hiring a designer, I think the designer can do a little bit more of a, not necessarily maximalist option, but they don't have to be so minimal. But if you're gonna be doing it yourself, a good rule of thumb is to stay minimalistic with the design. So don't do really busy, bold colors. Don't do very chunky furniture. Keep it sleek, keep it spacious and minimalistic because that will really uh, aid in the flow of how your space moves. It will kind of give a good energy all around and um, just allow you to maximize a micro space and ultimately just get the best result. If you have the budget, start to consider some built-in storage space. You can never go wrong with having too much space to put your extra storage. You know, it cleans it up, it declutters your area, and you can go to a place like Ikea and actually measure yourself, pre-build and pre-make something that's tethered straight to that area and literally utilize that space to the best of its abilities. Or in a bedroom, 
that doesn't have too much closet or storage space, if there's no room for a dresser, maybe think about doing a built-in that can provide you with some extra shelves for clothing or drawers even, and that'll really utilize that space. If you guys have any questions about your micro spaces, please leave them in the comments or honestly, even follow us on Instagram and send us a DM. We are happy to give you some advice and help you out on ways to utilize your micro spaces. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and of course here on YouTube. And we'll see you in the next video.